Today, I'm talking about five reasons why I love wedding photography and chose to focus on it. Hi there, my name is Jennifer Cook and I'm a wedding photographer serving both Tennessee and Virginia. My goal here on this channel is to educate other photographers, share my experiences with other photographers, and give you a glimpse into my daily life. So in today's video, I said I was going to tell you five reasons why I love wedding photography and kind of explain why I chose to focus on doing wedding photography. So let's get right into it. The first reason why I love wedding photography is I love hearing my couple's stories. Each couple has a very unique story. Um, normally it starts with how they met and then how they get to know each other and then ultimately their engagement story and then just leading into their future marriage. So it's really fun for Dana and I just to get to know our couples. Um, and hear their stories. Um, normally it's in their initial inquiry. Um, we ask them some questions so we can get to know them better as a couple. So we just love hearing about our couple's stories because it really helps to connect me to my couples um, and that way it just helps start building that relationship. The second reason why I love wedding photography and chose to focus on it is that I loved creating beautiful portraits for my couples on their wedding days. Uh, there's, I mean, you could do that with like seniors and families, like you can still do it. Um, but there's something about creating like beautiful canvas artwork uh, that people can hang on their walls at, in their home that just excites me. And so I chose to focus on that because I want to get really good at doing that one thing for my couples um, so I can serve them really well in that way. And when I talk about creating beautiful portraits for my couples. There's so many things, places, you know, about a wedding venue that you can utilize just to create like gorgeous photos for them. And so that's a challenge for me on a wedding day. I enjoy looking at trees, looking at different compositional things throughout the wedding venue, um, inside and outside, mostly outside though, <laughs> um, in which I can just create really cool looking photos for my couples. Um, and that's just something that I really love doing. The third reason why I chose to focus on wedding photography is, it's kind of a funny reason actually, but I actually really enjoy all like the back end organization and planning work that I have to do before wedding and after wedding. I'm a very organized, detail oriented person. And so I really like doing all the planning beforehand, the, you know, because there's a lot of planning that goes into actually like shooting a wedding before you actually have to shoot the wedding. And so I enjoy this a lot. So like one example of like, there's like, I do like wedding day questionnaires. Um, and that helps me figure out, it helps me get all the information about the couple's wedding day like in one place. Um, and then I can send them that questionnaire and they can send it back to me um, with like the questions answered. And that helps me just get an idea of like their whole wedding day. And having that all in one place saves me a lot of time because otherwise I'd have to like dig through emails and find things everywhere. It's helpful on the couple's end too. It's helpful with them because then they can, they can know that they have all the information they need to give me in one place. Uh, and so that's just, it's a really good way to do that with questionnaires. Um, and then I also just enjoy like, there's all these organizational things on the back end, like on my side of things that I just enjoy doing. I think it's fun. I love creating like systems that kind of work for me. Like another way to call, you can call it like automated systems. Like I kind of enjoy learning about how to better create my systems so that my clients have a better client experience overall. And I also enjoy just all of the things I have to do after wedding to be able to give my clients a good experience as far as sneak peeks and wedding gallery delivery and possible prints and possible albums, things like that. There's just so many things, like I'm not even like mentioning them all right now because there's just a lot of things that I do before and after wedding day that really makes the whole client experience process really good for my couples and fun and just simple and easy. But I also enjoy doing it too because I enjoy organizing things and I enjoy being really good with all the details and things like that and just the whole planning process, it's fun for me. So doing, focusing on wedding photography just seemed to be the right thing for me to do because there's so many different planning things and so much different organizational things you have to do with it. And so my brain just worked with it. It's just, it just worked. And so I just decided to do that. The fourth reason why I chose to focus on wedding photography and why I love it is that I love being able to build a relationship with my couples that starts before the wedding day, you know, extends into the wedding day, but then also goes beyond the wedding day. Um, I think it's really important that you, you can connect well with your couples and just kind of like jive well with them. That's a funny word. Um, you just get along with them well before the wedding day, because that way when you actually get to the wedding day, you can just celebrate with them and have fun. And it's honestly just like a fun day to celebrate with them, but also like, you know, you're taking their photos too. Uh, but I just really enjoy the whole process of getting to know their stories, um, figuring out like what, what, what type, you know, what's a favorite type of coffee, what's a favorite places to go, 
Um, just really like learning their story, how they met, because everyone has such a unique story of how they met. Um, and then Daniel and I sometimes share with them aspects of our story with them because sometimes there's like you know sometimes like oh like maybe like they're going to a similar place that we went to our honeymoon or maybe they enjoy doing some fun activities that we enjoy doing so bringing able to um, see those connection points is a really fun thing about wedding photography um it might you know i'm sure you could still find connection points with like seniors and families and things like that um but with wedding photography there's so much more ways that you can purposely you can like purposely connect with the clients um, your couples um, to just make it a fun experience and to just honestly make friends with them like you know like throughout the whole wedding planning process and along with that line um, building a relationship with your couples before the wedding day allows you to when like me and Daniel show up on a wedding day we feel like we know them already we're friends with them already and so it makes it really just a lot easier to actually be able to take really good photos of them um, because they're comfortable with us, we're comfortable with them, and they're just so happy, they trust us, we trust them, like everything, it just works so much better. And so we work really hard to build that trust um, and connection with, with our clients, um, our couples, before the wedding day. Uh, so when we show up on a wedding day, it's really just a time to celebrate with them and just to really, we just get to spend like eight hours hanging out with them and it's just super fun. And then the fifth reason why I love wedding photography and chose to focus on it is because I just, focusing on wedding photography, it's really allowed me to just dive down deeper into figuring out the best ways I can serve my couples. Because there's so much involved in a wedding day, there's so many more avenues in which I can serve them really well than if it was some other type of session. Um, for example, like you can serve them really well with an engagement session. Um, so really when you have couples, like you have normally you do like an engagement session beforehand. Um, like for me, I like to do that as a complimentary thing with my wedding packages. Um, if people are in Tennessee and so that's like super, like, it's a fun thing for us to do because we get to meet each other before the wedding day and you get to talk and hang out. Um, and just take photos of them and I get to teach them like kind of like you know some of my like, main poses and prompts and things like that so that when we actually get to wedding day they're really good at they're really good in front of the camera and um, what I really like is that I can I can just teach them everything they need to do they don't have to worry about oh my gosh like am I gonna look good on camera like because I'm teaching them everything they know so that they can you know they'll be amazing by the time we get to wedding day and so they don't have to worry and there's just and we work really well together um, and so that way their wedding portraits it's just it's just gonna be amazing and going along those lines with wedding photography there's so many ways along the way that you can surprise your couples in unique ways um, just to make it more about wedding photos like I never want it to just be just wedding photos if there was just wedding photos then I just I, I'd be like I could do better <laughs> so I purposely like in my whole process with weddings, I like having places where I get to surprise my couples with unique things. That's just something I personally do. I know some other people do it, um, like some other photographers do it, but not everyone does. Uh, but I know that the more you value wedding photography and the more you're willing to invest in it, the more you're gonna get out when you actually invest in a photographer who you love and wanna work with. Um, because that photographer is also going to want to invest back in you. So that's what we want to do with our clients. We want to, um, they're investing in us, and so we want to invest back into them and serve them really, really well. So those are my five reasons why I love wedding photography and why I chose to focus on it. It's really, we just love being able to connect with our couples and give them an experience that they're gonna remember for the rest of their lives, and also just establishing a relationship with them that we're gonna keep this relationship going in the future beyond their wedding day. Next week, I'll be talking about a lens that I love and why I love this particular lens. So mark your calendars for that next week. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this content and would like to see more of it in the future, please like this video and please subscribe. See you next week. Bye.